Hey YouTube, um, these are the pages that I had been working on a little while back and um, I haven't showed you yet because I was busy with other pages that I'm also very proud of but I wanted to show you um, first I have um, this whole section is about important witches um, throughout history and I only I've only found a few but they are amazing and very uh, inspirational so I wanted to start with Julia Brown she was a witch um, or a wise woman or a, you know she helped her community by helping the sick and uh, because they lived in an area that was not very easy accessible for doctors and that sort of thing so if they had a sick person they could um, go with the train um, and that train didn't always uh, go every day so it was just so much easier to go to Yul Julia and she was very good, the people uh, trusted her um, which was special in that time because witches weren't trusted very much but she was because she was that good she really cured many illnesses but um, they were also very scared of her because <clears throat> When um, they they figured because she was so strong, so powerful, um, her gift was so powerful, her gift of healing, that maybe she could also turn that gift around and cause death. And also because she started singing this song that she, when she died, um, she would take the whole town with her and um, that of course scared the people a lot and um, well I'm not gonna tell the whole story because it's very interesting and maybe I want to do a video about her because um, well she was an amazing woman who did pretty much everything right because um, every time I read these stories about uh, ancient witches who were so very powerful and they made very small but very important mistakes. Um, in that time, people never, they didn't trust witches. So if you wanted to survive, you have to make the people dependent on you, that they need you and trust you. And um, that it's more important to keep you alive than, than to kill you. And, um, and she did that. She she made sure that the people, um, you know, wanted her there. So that's Julia Brown. Then we have Mol Dyer, who did everything wrong. She was also a very powerful witch, but um, she lived during the Little Ice Age, they called it, and um, that means that the winters were very cold, and. Um, one time, the winter was very, very extremely cold and the people were dying. They were sleeping with their animals just to keep warm. And, um, but Moldaya lived, she didn't live in town, she lived uh, more in the woods. And they couldn't understand why she wasn't dying. So they figured she was a witch and maybe she cursed this winter to be extremely cold so they set her house on fire and she had to escape, well escape, not exactly ex escape because that is also what caused her death because she, she had to run into the night, in the cold night and she froze to death and um, that set a lot of events in action and um, lots of things happened and maybe that's going to be a video too, I don't know. And this is the picture that I drew of her. 
Can you see? Oh, there she is. And then we have Thames and Blight, which was an interesting story because um, Thames was a witch and her husband was also a witch. And um, she was also respected, sort of, because her husband was an alcoholic, I think. And he decided, uh, he was also gay. He was bisexual, I think, because he, he did love Tamsin. And um, when he suggested to bring in a third person into the marriage, I think, what he wanted, or to just have an open marriage, I don't know. But he wanted to um, have a relationship with the man also. She, uh, well, she didn't want that. So the, the marriage was broken up for a little while. And um, also because in that time, of course, uh, gay people were, um, well, the, they were um, put in jail for being gay. So he had to run and save himself. And eventually he came back, so, and she um, forgave him for, um, you know, basically leaving her alone for another man. And um, I completely forgot what she, the rest of the story. And, uh, oh, and this is her. She actually had uh, a painting, she had a painting made, or I don't know if she made, uh, had the painting made or that someone just wanted to paint her, but it is a very beautiful painting and I tried to draw it from the painting. This is her as an old lady. And then we have George Pickingill. And he was an interesting character because um, well, he wasn't the nicest person, but then again he was, because, well, well um, you see, um, he, en he ended up alone because his wife died, and um, I think that is what made him a little, you know, um, well, not the nicest, but there are records of him, um, trying to curse the people's um, lands and uh, crops and he would walk uh, around the, the, the lands of the farmers and, and yell at them and they gave him beer to go away and um, so that is very nice but then there were people who were sick and they came to him and asked him to cure them and he would do it for free and um, and first I thought he wasn't very special, you know, he was just someone who was good with herbs and um, did his thing and not one of the big ones. But then I read that people actually came from very, very far to come and see him because he was that good. And also, if people lost something like a key or jewelry, and he would find it for them, free of charge. Um, of course, people always gave him money for what he did for, the, uh, for them, but he never asked for anything. And, um, and then there was this writer who wanted to write a book about magic, and he was one of the people that uh, he was very interested in. So he's mentioned in a couple of books. And that is very cool too. So I wanted to do this video because there are plenty of witches who think that this is all new, Wicca, it's all new. And, um, you know, it, it doesn't have very deep roots. But here are the people who are actually people that you want to look up to. And... Um, now, I just wanted to introduce them to you, and there are so many, many more, so I'm going to keep going with this section in my book. 
And uh, oh, here's the rest of the story of George Pickenhill. But I haven't done the picture yet. And um, and maybe you'll uh, I'll show you the rest also in a video. But um, not right now because I'm working on something else again because my brain is is very scattered and I get distracted very fast. And there are so many wonderful things to learn about magic, and I want to put I want to put them in my book. So um, maybe next video will be about herbs and trees. Trees are also very interesting to learn about what people thought about them um, and their magical abilities. So I'll see you in the next video. Blessed be.